Hello everyone, my name is Vasilina Frolova Canero, and in this video we're going to discuss what inpaint models are in stable diffusion and when to use them. Quite often, when selecting a checkpoint model in Civitai, you might notice an additional model for installation. This is the inpaint model. It's specifically trained to perform higher quality inpainting within this model. Let's look at a simple example. Let's recolor the dress on a girl to green using the regular model and the inpaint model with the same settings. When using the regular model, the dress indeed changes color, but we can see a heavily distorted body and an additional hand. Now, let's switch to the inpaint model and generate with the same settings. This time, everything looks excellent. Why does this happen? Inpaint models not only rely on the prompt and main content, but also on the shape of objects in the original image. This is precisely why they don't perform very well at adding new parts to an image. Let's try generating a necklace using the inpaint model. It appears, but it doesn't look very good. For this task, the regular model is more suitable. And with the same settings, it provides this result. The only exception when the inpaint model is more suitable for generating something that wasn't in the image initially is resizing with filling. Let's select our girl and the background around her. Adjust the settings accordingly and generate using the regular model without additional prompts. And while the generation is in progress, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. Here I share a lot of useful information about neural networks, including how to create an inpaint model on your own if it's not initially available. Generation has completed. The result is disappointing. Seams are visible. Objects don't relate to the original image. However, the inpaint model handles this much better, creating a new background without seams. So if you need to alter an image while preserving its form, you need an in-paint model. But if you need to create something from scratch, excluding the background, it's better to use the main model. Now you'll be able to make your images even higher in quality, and I'll see you in my upcoming videos on my channel.